Welcome, Cancer and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid. That means for you this could resonate as a past, as a present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure you check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. What is going on here, please, for the collective Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I want to be more than friends. You speak to me through music, but we both know I'm not the one for you. Okay? I am becoming a better person. I feel you even though we are apart. I left you before you could leave me. Surrender to resentments. Holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situations in your life. Surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all that you can to make things happen, then let go of the result. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. Okay, I feel like this is a situation where this person wants more with you, but they feel they let you down in the past, and I think that this person truly cannot forgive themselves. And for some of you, maybe you also do, like, you know, hold a grudge or, you know, resentments toward this person. Some of you might not. But I feel like this person can't forgive themselves. They feel like you you deserve so much better. They're trying to work on themselves. And they felt like no matter what they did, they couldn't be the person you needed or, or wanted them to be. Okay? They're saying they still feel connected to you. You know, they're hearing a lot of music thinking about you. They want me to be more than friends. All right, let's see. What's going on here, please, for the collective? Let me grab the stick. All right, so your energy, their energy, what's between you and this person, the obstacle or the challenge, their thoughts, their feelings, intentions, and actions towards you, if any. All right, clear messages and guidance, please. What is the energy here, please, for the collective? Okay, so your energy their energy between you and the obstacle. Feelings. Okay. They betrayed your trust. Okay. This could be specific. If this is not your story, please do not try to force this to fit. Check your other placements or check the timeless playlist for cancer in the description box. The moon. There were secrets. There were things that were hidden from you. Okay. This person, I feel like they were already in a higher level of commitment. Now, I mean, it could be you, it could be your person, but somebody here was already married or with someone else, living with someone else. And the truth came to light. Yeah, you and this person were connected and you walked away because you felt betrayed by this person or they walked away because they know they hurt you. I think that now you and this person are probably no contact. We have strong Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Libra, Taurus. Could be any sign, but you may not currently be in contact with this person. They may have went silent, ghosted, went quiet on you. They feel they can't offer you something more, but they want to. They do. They feel like you're their person, but they feel they've messed up. They've caused you too much pain. They betrayed your trust, and they're not sure they can ever win it back. And I think that this person wants to make a change in their situation, but they don't think that they have the power to do so. They're afraid that maybe too much damage has been done. I feel like this person feels stuck with this Eight of Swords. They feel trapped by their circumstances. They feel like, and again, I'm never going to justify someone's negative actions, behaviors, etc. But the entire purpose of these readings is that you know how you feel, what you think, and what you want. You're here to understand your person's perspective, whether we agree with it or not. This person feels they don't have the power to make a change here. And they have a lot of regrets for how things played out in the past, okay? Um, you and this person both thought at one point that you were going to start over, build a life together, start something new. This person may have been making a lot of promises to you. You guys could have been talking about, you know, buying a home together, building a life together, building a family together, marriage, you know, holidays, vacations, you know, painting this beautiful life together. But all that came crashing down because some kind of secret was exposed. For some of you, this person may not have actually, you know, 
they may have been telling you different. They may have been saying, oh, well, I, yes, I'm married technically, but I'm in the process of a divorce or, oh, I sleep on the couch or, you know, you know, we're making this change or we're not really a couple anymore and it's an open, whatever. They had all these reasons, but you come to find out that wasn't the case. They were still very much involved with this empress. Again, male or female doesn't matter, but a lot of times the empress can signify like a wife, mother, uh, or male equivalent, but it's someone that this person had built some kind of sense of security with. They were telling you about the future. You guys were going to be together. It was going to be beautiful, you know, but they messed up. They messed up. They left because they, they thought you would leave them for how they treated you in the past. They're saying you deserve better. I feel like this person is really, really wallowing in self-pity. Woe is me kind of energy. I messed up. I lost the best thing in my life. You know, I could have had it all if I had stayed with cancer. I shouldn't have listened to these lies or I shouldn't have stayed stuck or I should have done X, Y, and Z. And you deserve so much better than me. And I do feel like this person really is kind of in this really dark night of the soul trying to kind of think about their actions and how it affects others and themselves. And I feel like this person was involved with someone and that's the thing is you found out they were lying to you they were keeping secrets from you seven of swords they were with someone else when they were with you and it broke your heart and it broke theirs too and possibly even this karmic partner or this person they're involved with this may have came to light and this person may have had to make a choice and they chose to go work on things with this empress and it kind of left you blindsided. Like, was I being deceived the whole time? You notice how this little uh, hermit here is walking this little windy path. And you notice that he's got nothing but his little lantern to shine, you know, to look for signs of danger. So as he's making his way through this little narrow path, you know, he's slowly uncovering things. Like this little snake here, a liar. He can't step around it. He can't step over it. He's got to be careful in his approach. You know, there's no way to kind of move around it's like this came out there was no avoiding it some of you may have actually found this out through like social media or even saw them out and about with this person or something but <clears throat> there were secrets they betrayed your trust now this person is waiting at a distance and hoping that you I can already feel it some of y'all are sitting there shaking your head right now and I'm not in disagreement with you okay <laughs> I'm just the messenger so this person is hoping that you're coming back to them they're waiting for you. And I know that y'all are sitting there, mm -mm, no mystic, no. It's if, it, if they want me, they better, you know, make take action. They better come to me. They better, you know, not be with this third party. I'm not in disagreement. I'm just saying this person is waiting for you. They're hoping, they're hoping they're going to sit and wait and you're going to come to them and tell them that you still love them and then they can declare their feelings to you and to see where it leads. You're the, I think you're in this place of like, I'm keeping to myself. You know, I'm not going to be deceived again. If this person really wants to be with me, they will, you know, make a change in their circumstances. They will come to me. You know, you're kind of holding your own here. This person's really in their head, not sure how to approach you. They feel like too much damage has been done. I want to be more than friends. I want a relationship with you. But I feel like I've done way too much damage. I still feel connected to you. But I can't forgive myself. And I'm worried because even if I can't forgive myself, then maybe, maybe there's no way that you could. But they're hoping. They're hoping. Now, I do feel like this person is working to end a long-term situation. Some of them really could be starting their own business, building up money, saving. Um, some of them, I feel like, also you know, had plans to kind of go back to school or learn some kind of new trade or kind of step into some kind of new adventure or something to kind of bring forth like more independence for them. But I do feel like this person, if you don't come to them, they will try to come to you. But they're going to do this when they feel they have come to a place where they're more financially secure. You're, there's a part of you that still hopes that you know they were telling you the truth. That when they were talking about the future with you, they really meant it. That they're going to take some kind of action or plan and, and make it happen. You don't want to just spend the rest of your life waiting for something. If this person wants to be with you, prove it. Some of you, you know, it's like too much damage has been done and you want to start new. You want to start over someone new, you know. And I feel like you, when you really do, you have a choice here. This person still wants to be with you. If you don't contact them, I feel like they will contact you. But I feel like they're kind of waiting until they kind of get things under control. Because they do feel like their hands are tied. There could be a lot of money tied up into this situation. I think for some of you, this person may have held on to a situation because they told themselves, well, if I can't, you know, have the house or full custody of the kids, or if I have to owe this person money, or if I have to do this, then I don't, then I don't want to make a change. But they have to surrender the attachment to results. 
you know, maybe it's not necessarily going to be easy. Maybe it's not going to be pretty, but it'll be worth it in the end. You know, sometimes you have to, you know, make a sacrifice to get what you really want. And so they have to kind of get over this idea that, you know, it's not going to, it's going to be, you know, a walk in the park, sunshine and rainbows. They, you know what I mean? They have to, they have to be willing to make a risk here, make a change. And I do feel like this person will try to get stronger, more financially secure and come towards you. So that's what I have for y'all. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.